Hey guys, so if you didn't know already, today I'm heading out to Ireland, Wales, London, and Paris for the next two weeks. But hold up, have no fear. I already have pre-filmed videos that are scheduled to be uploading as if I never even left. So you'll keep getting new videos while I'm gone. So since I'm going on a nine hour flight today and I've been on well over 150 planes in my lifetime, I think that it's pretty fair that I could give you some traveling tips. Maybe because you want to know a few tips or maybe you've never flown before and you're about to this year. So let's get started. For your actual packing, you want to roll your clothes rather than folding them. It honestly creates so much more space, I don't know what this black magic is, but it actually works. For example, you would normally fold a shirt like this and it'd use up a lot of room because you have to stack your clothes on top. But instead, if you fold your shirt halfway like this, like the hot dog fold, and then just start rolling it like this, It actually rolls up like this and you can get so many more clothes in your suitcase. As you can see, I still have a huge empty spot here because I rolled all my t-shirts and rolled all my hoodies. If I were to fold all these, all of the suitcase would have been full and I would have needed another one. The second thing you should do is make sure you have a plastic bag in your luggage. I personally like to use a grocery bag because I think they're just really easy. You can use this bag for your used underwear and socks so that it doesn't have to mix with your clean stuff that you haven't even worn yet. You should also make sure that you put at least two luggage tags on each one of your luggages or carry-ons. Sometimes the airport people are careless and accidentally rip off your luggage tag. So if you have two of them, you won't have to worry if you only lose one. Like on my carry-on here, I have a donut thing with my address on the other side. I also have a Canadian one to represent my country on my carry-on. And for my big luggage, I also have a matching donut on top and a little sailor type of tag on the bottom so that it's labeled in two places. It's also a good idea to get a suitcase that really stands out like mine so that it's easy to spot on the carousel. And before you leave the house, you should look through your carry-on bag and grab out all your liquids and put them into one Ziploc bag. You wanna put it at an easy access spot so that you can pull it out as a carity and put it in the bin. In my opinion, it's way easier than having to dig through your bag, looking for all the different kinds of liquids and then putting it into one of their bags. Like for example, in my backpack here, I can literally just pull out my bag of liquids. Another thing you can do, which I'm pretty sure only works for iPhones, is to open up your notepad on your phone, type in your name, your email address, your destination address, like where you're gonna be after you get off the plane, and a bunch of other phone numbers that you could be reached at, emails, whatever, do that kind of thing, and then screenshot it. Then make it your phone's background and boom, someone is more likely to return it. For being at the airport slash what you should wear, if you're going on a one hour flight, wear whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. But if you're going on a flight that's like three to 12 hours, wear something comfy and thank me later. You wanna avoid jeans, leather, and basically anything that prevents you from moving around easily. Like for my nine hour flight today, I will be wearing this baggy red sweater because I feel very comfy in it. It's very baggy, so if I were to sleep, I won't look like real chunky, if you know what I mean. And I'm also wearing black sweatpants because it's supposed to be cold in Ireland and London, and I don't wanna land there in leggings. This way I'll be able to move my legs around freely and move my arms around freely as well too. And if you're going to a colder destination, it's probably a good idea to bring a spare hoodie or jacket in your carry-on, as well as a beanie is what I'm doing. But if you're going to a place like Hawaii, Florida, or something like that, girl, leave that beanie at home. Pack a pair of shorts so that you can change at the airport since it'll be a lot hotter there. Also be sure you buy a whole bunch of snacks before your flight in places like Walmart because the plane does not feed you enough. I could be going on a one hour flight and you could be going on a six hour flight and we'd both get the same amount of food, which is basically a tiny plastic cup of water and a little bag of pretzels and that's it. You literally have to be going on a flight for more than like eight hours for them to actually feed you something. And even then it's not a lot, so it's a good idea to pack beforehand and just make sure your thing that you're bringing isn't like, pizza or something like that. Make sure they're just little snacks. Cause girl, let me tell you, I get hungry every five minutes, so I'm gonna need more food than what the plane offers. And if you're like me and you love backpacks, you should spend the extra money to get a backpack with good shoulder straps. When I travel, I usually take my 15 inch MacBook Pro, my heavy Nikon DSLR, my microphone, four lenses, Nikon batteries, and everything else in my backpack and it gets heavy. But with this backpack that I'm bringing, it literally feels like it's weightless when I put it on my shoulders. I don't know what this material is, but it's so beautiful and it literally feels so light when it's in reality like 50 million pounds. Okay, not that heavy, but that's literally how heavy my MacBook and my camera start to feel after five minutes of walking. So that's basically all of the traveling tips that I have for you today. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me a lot. Also, if you wanna see updates and photos from my Europe trip, you should follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Vine, whatever else I have in the links down below. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, and comment, social media links down below, and I'll see you guys in two days with a brand new video. Bye.